Got some comments lately about dealers wanting to recruit wholesalers, wholesalers looking for dealers. And uh, I'm ecstatic about that because, uh, you know, it, it, it's something dear to my heart because, you know, that's the way I got started. I had limited funds and so it was my wholesalers and my wholesale program that helped me continue to grow the business. So that is something that's very dear to me. And uh, first off, I, I had a comment that uh, requested, uh, he wanted to bring some wholesalers into how, uh, his dealership. And that's great. And, and I can only tell you how we do it here. Uh, and, and hopefully it gives you some guidelines. Number one, we advertise on wholesalers uh, on Craigslist and Facebook. And uh, our, our biggest response is in uh, Craigslist, we advertise in the housing section uh, for commercial property. And we advertise as a wholesaler office and, and share the, the dealership. Now, first off, everybody in this dealership is a wholesaler, okay? Now the dealership itself is in the name of my son. Um, I had my dealerships in Alabama. Uh, he wanted me to come back to Tennessee and open up a dealership with him here. And I did, um, of course. Uh, and so, yes, I invested in the dealership, uh, but uh, we put the dealership in my son's name. Now, there is some speculation out there. I've had people that, that the haters get out there that tell me that, or have said that I can no longer have a dealership in my name, uh, that I'm a scam artist and, and stuff. These are just YouTube haters. Uh, that's just utter bullshit. I, I have no... Uh, bad history with any state as far as not being able to get a dealer's license. But uh, anyway, we put the dealership, although that I invested uh, in the dealership, uh, the same amount that Shane did, uh, I wanted it, I wanted to leave my son something and, and so we put it in his name. Now keep in mind, he is the principal owner of the dealership but the dealership is for us a standalone entity. Uh, he's a wholesaler, I'm a wholesaler, and everybody in here is a wholesaler. So how we work that, number one, uh, we advertise, like I said, and we get the wholesalers to respond to us. We don't go into details with them over the telephone. Uh, when they call in, as they always will uh, call in, and we don't go into details because uh, we're going to meet them and make sure that they are financially able to buy vehicles. This is the most important thing that you have to know. Uh, uh, so we have them in and, and we talk to them, interview them, and we want to make sure, number one, uh, that you can buy vehicles. Uh, you've got cash to invest, you know, 5000 is at a minimum that we want them to bring to the table here. We charge a thousand dollars upfront fee. Uh, it's been that way for years. We've not raised it. We haven't lowered it. That thousand dollars does include the first month. It includes getting all the licenses. It adds get, uh, them to our general liability insurance. So that's kind of their stake and uh, a little bit of guaranteeing us we have a lot of people who come in and say well uh, you know can i just pay you so much per car no you know that is not what we're we're about you know put some skin in the game uh and so the thousand dollars is what gets them started and we'll apply for their licenses we'll add them to the insurance we'll add them to the bonds uh, they're here now for that thousand dollars it gets them access to the auction uh, and, and they can buy and sell at the auction. And the way that that works, uh, they're buying their own inventory. Um, 
and they're bringing their inventory back to the lot. Now this is very important. A lot of people are going to jump you and say, well, I can buy my inventory and can keep it at my home. Uh, no, the, the laws plainly state that if you're going to act in retail cars as a dealer, that dealer, uh, that vehicle has to be delivered from the lot. Now you can show it anywhere you want to. If you want to take your car, Mr. Wholesaler, that you've bought and you want to work on it, that's okay. But when it comes back to the lot, uh, it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to stay here. It has to be sold from this lot. Now, that all that means is you've got to do the paperwork here. So that's why you want wholesalers that are in your immediate area. If you're a dealer uh, in, in Dallas, Texas, for instance, pick you wholesalers. Don't market uh, all over the state of Texas. Because if you do that, these guys are going to come in here. They're going to get access to the auctions. Uh, you have no way to monitor their inventory. I mean, you can see what they've bought on your uh, auction reports, but uh, they need to be convenient to you. And so we don't really uh, take any wholesalers on that are over a 30 mile radius from this dealership. Uh, if it's too inconvenient for them to come and deliver their cars uh, and keep us within the laws of the state, uh, then we, we just don't bring them in. So uh, they get 100% of their profits. So if they go out and buy a $2,000 car, they sell that car for $3,000, $3,500. Uh, that money comes into the dealership first. When they sell their car, it comes into the dealership first. Uh, we take $200 processing fee is what the dealership takes out of that. And then the rest of it goes back to the wholesaler. So the customer comes in, the wholesaler has delivered their car from here. Like I said, and it brought in $3,500, for example. Uh, all that money comes in, Shane immediately turns around and uh, reimburses all of that $3,500 back to the wholesaler except for that $200 processing fee. So the, do the wholesaler's got his $2,000 original investment back and his $1,300 profit. It's very, very simple. Uh, and it works. Uh, it just works great. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday, most of you saw, as a wholesaler, I sold my uh, Volvo. Uh, you know, we had $3,400 in it. And so, uh, you know, it wound up uh, making it right at 2000 And so that 2000 goes into my pocket with the exception of that $200 fee that goes back to the dealer. Okay, now that, that $200 fee is designed to pay the the overhead. That's, that's all this dealership. This dealership itself makes no money. All the wholesalers make the money myself included, Shane included. The dealership survives off of volume alone, that $200 per car. So this dealership is geared up to where at least 15 of us, uh, or, or 15 cars, has to be sold to cover our overhead. Now, Shane and I, since we are the principals in the dealership, he owns it, of course, but I have a stake in it. So, should we fail uh, to sell 15 cars uh, out of here and meet that processing fees, obviously Shane and I are the ones that come out of pocket to make up the difference in the overhead. Now, in five years, we've never, ever, ever missed that. Uh, in most cases, we able to take that processing fee and pay the overhead and money left over that goes back into mine and chain's pocket. Uh, you know, on the months that we sell 50 cars, obviously that's a $10,000 um, income from processing fees. We pay the overhead out of that and we split what's left over as the principal investors in the dealership. Uh, so that's the way that we work it. Uh, keeping in mind that you are on the hook 
when these guys go to use your license at the auctions or anywhere else, um, they you are on the hook for that. So you want to stress to them very, very carefully that you're going to let them go and buy cars, uh, but you know do not buy a car and you will pay cash. Tell your wholesalers yeah, you're going to pay uh, not by check for that car, but cash or money order. Now, uh, your auctions like ours, our people will not take cash money. So um, they have to present a money order. But we want that car paid for that day. The wholesalers have to bring the car back here. They can take their pictures wherever they want to. They can drive the car. They can do whatever they want to with the car, except the laws state that that car has to be delivered from here. So my video is running a little bit longer here and I don't like to go over 10 minutes on a video. So I got some more things that I want to discuss about some of the wholesalers that we've had in here in the next video. So, uh, Good luck. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section. Uh, uh, you know, we monitor it very, very carefully here. And if you do the same, you're going to wind up uh, reducing your overhead tremendously. And you're going to wind up as the principal owner of your dealership, putting some money back in your pocket because uh, you're actually going to sell way. If you get enough wholesalers in there, the car dealership is going to sell you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 cars a month. And when you do that, as the principal of the dealership, you're making money off your wholesalers, off the processing fees, because anything that does not go to the overhead goes in our pockets. But that $200 processing fee is a must. Um, and we'll go into that a little bit more on some of the other videos. Please subscribe to this channel. Good luck in, in recruiting wholesalers. Again, if you've got any comments, let me know.